Hum dum dee dum, hum dum dee dum. Hello, Dottie. What a beautiful morning, isn't it? Why aren't you at the church for my what? Ow! Shove off, you brute! Ouch! I say that was rather bullshit of you, young lady. Hey, Doc. Paul, what's this about? Say, the thing is, Doc, we all saw the unpleasantness the other day at the circus. And what you did to young Master Billy afterwards. I, uh, don't know what you mean. You slapped him! You slapped him right in the jaw after you drank that formula of yours, didn't he, Billy? Uh-huh. There's no hiding it anymore. Kitty, are you drunk? Please! For the first time, I'm really considering who it is, this man I am to marry. You're so reckless and spontaneous! I'm a scientist, Kitty! That's my job! Oh, really? So I suppose it's your job to make a miniature, super ugly clone of yourself? <laughs> That's no way to speak of my best man. Or trap and hold helpless ghosts without cause? Being a general nuisance is a cause. Or clone a T-Rex that for whatever reason only knows how to live in our basement and scream the name of a long-forgotten company? Sega. Come, Kitty. I can see you're not well. Let's get you home. Don't touch her. But she's my wife. Would-be wife. We're done. But Kitty... Perhaps you should stay over there, Dr. Jekyll. But there's bees. Pesky bees. Annoying bees. Ouch. Well, it seems I've stung my hand. No matter. A little Dr. Jekyll's all-natural gluten-free formula will take care of that. Oh, God. He's drinking again. Dr. Jekyll, give me the whiskey. It's not whiskey, my dear Paul. It's my all-natural remedy formula with a pinch of salt. Salt? That's his scientific jargon for a Jaeger bomb. Don't be silly, Kitty. I've never felt more alive. Why, I'm feeling tip... Top. Oh. I've seen that look before. Lock your doors. Ah, the bees! Ouch! Come here, you little slingshot snot-nosed freak! First the bees, then you! Hmm. That's about right. discriminate.